Hello and welcome to the first episode of the How to Make Any Game Mechanics series. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at a basic 2D player controller. So before we get started, I should probably explain what this series is all about. Unfortunately, I haven't really been posting videos to YouTube lately. And no, that's not because I forgot about you guys, but I'm actually working on a very large project and it's probably going to be releasing around the Christmas time. Seeing that it's the middle of the summer, well, it's quite a ways away. Unfortunately, all of my free time has been going right into this project, so I haven't really been able to upload to YouTube. Because of that, I decided to start this series, which is going to be a lot easier to produce videos for because they're not going to be as highly edited as my normal tutorial videos. In fact, if you're watching this video right now, I've already scheduled quite a few of these videos. Anyways, this series is basically just going to take random game mechanics, and just kind of explain them and go over how I would do it. Game dev is just one of those things that are just super subjective. The way one person does something is just so drastically different than how another would do it. And then there's all these programming practices that people just don't decide to follow. <laughs> so the first thing that I've done is I've created a new 2D URP project and I'm just going to organize things a little bit. In the scenes folder, I'm just going to get rid of this sample scene. And in fact, I'm just going to get rid of the scene folder altogether. I'm going to right click, create a new folder, and let's call this episode one. This episode one folder is going to contain everything that we're going to use in this video. So I'm going to start by creating a blank scene. And opening that up. Okay, now we have a new scene. I'm just gonna right click, create, I'm just gonna create a square. And name of the player. Now we can right click, create, new C sharp script. And I'm gonna call this player controller. Okay, now onto the subjective part, the code. Let's just start by making a rigid body player controller. So, private, rigid body 2D, RB, and we can make a supervised field, private, int, move speed. In update, I'm going to use the old input system because I really just don't want to set up the new one. And I'm just going to get a flow X. And then we can say rigid body uh, velocity equals new vector three x will be dot velocity dot y, and we can just say zero because we know we're not going to be moving in the z. And we didn't assign our rigid body yet, so let's do that quickly. Rb equals game object dot get component. body 2d okay we must go back in unity click on our player give him a rigid body give him a box collider let's create a ground Give it a box collider. Let's drag our player controller onto our player. And give them, I don't know, free move speed. Now, let's hit play. He falls. And he moves left and right. We might want to increase this to something like maybe 10. So he can move quicker. Okay, and then this could be your very first player if you've never made one. Let's take a look at changing our player controller to work with transform rather than rigid body. Back in our script, let's create a bool. You can just make it public for now, and we can say 
use transform move man. In update, let's use an if statement and only use the rigid body movement if we're not using the transform movement. So if use transform movement equals false. Copy this in, put it in, else. Transform that position, equal new, vector three. Transform dot position x. And we can say plus x, which is this float here. Times, time by delta time. M speed form dot position dot y form dot position. I'm just gonna space this out a little bit better. Semicolon. Okay. Back in Unity, let's check our box and give it a try. We can in fact move left and right. Now, if we uncheck the transform movement, we're using rigid body, and now we're back to using the transform. Cool, so that's two different ways to move your player, one with the rigid body and one with transform. Again, everything is up to preference. I prefer rigid body movement, but some people, they absolutely despise it. It's the devil, you can't use it, you gotta use transform. It's totally up to you. There are benefits of using one over the other, but I'm sure you guys can look into that on your own. This project and every single episode is going to be linked to this project and built inside of this project is up on GitHub. And I have included a link in the description. You guys can download it. This player controller can be yours for a small fee of $0. So go up there, get the player controller. Also, I know that this is like the most basic of things that I could possibly do. I'm aware there is a solution. Go into the comments is just a game mechanic. I will build it. I know some of you are going to probably suggest something completely crazy and I might do it. I actually might. If it's challenging enough and I think that it's good for you guys to learn, I might, I might do it. But just keep in mind that there are a few videos buffered in front of this one. So just because I don't pick your mechanic next week doesn't mean that I'm not going to do it. What it means is there are videos ahead. One of these videos could be your suggestion. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. I hope the series does well. And I will see you guys next week.